With each year, the anticipation grows. After a 2012 Founders' Cup victory, the Ladurians hockey team has quickly worked its way up to a contender, finishing second to the Westminster Wildcats in the 2017 Wickenheiser Cup Finals. Many wonder just how Ladue would fare the next year, given that the team was fueled by their senior leaders Jordan Stern and Sam Shevitz, among others. However, the returning players, along with the talented freshman class, were poised to prove the doubters wrong, where they posted a 17-5-2 record and entered their first Challenge Cup appearance. Although eliminated by DeSmet, Ladue proved that they could be a force for years to come. They entered the 2018-19 season with high expectations. Coming into the rivalry game versus the Clayton Greyhounds, Ladue sat at a 5-1-1 record. After a 7-0 victory the first time around, Ladue was poised to finish off the season series against Clayton in a sweep. Due to a breakout second period, Ladue was able to cruise to a 5-3 victory as Clayton scored two goals at the end. Ryan McKenzie felt that the game was clearly in Ladue's hands the entire time. I'm Ryan, I play, and I go to Ladue High School. Um, it was pretty good. There's some, always some things you can work on, but overall, it was pretty good. The team also got star sophomore Dylan Stern back from injury. Well, he's very talented, so it can only help. Yeah, it, it, we can build off it. There's always some things you can build off of, but overall, I'm pretty happy with it. We're definitely progressing and trending in the right way, and we're only going to get better as the season goes on. For Ledoux, the season got off to a rocky start. In the season opener, the team gave up a commanding lead to the Westminster Wildcats in the third period. Although the game resulted in a tie, Ledoux showed what they had to offer in future games, getting on the rush quickly and playing solid defense when they needed to. Although the overall result left Ledoux in a place for questions, there was definitely a lot for Ledoux to be optimistic about going forward, as they showed they could open up the game by dominating the 50-50 puck battles and forcing the defense to scramble in an effort to clear the puck. The finishing aspect would come with time. Freshman Mike Ahukashvili's take on the game seemed to speak for the entire team. It didn't really feel good for us because we were obviously going to win, and then we choked third period. Um, we really needed the win for um, to help build motivation and have confidence going into the season. Yeah, they def they definitely played a big role in helping build confidence and like getting us um, co like familiar with how the game play is going to be with other teams. We were pretty disappointed that we tied, but. Um, it definitely did affect our next game um, in a negative way, but we overcame that um, and we beat uh, the team. It took our team's good leadership and uh, motivation and um, there was like the respect that the coaches gave us for about, yeah, the team's definitely getting a lot closer. Um, we're building relationships, and that's definitely um, helping us in games. It definitely does because they're our rivals. Um, you know, you kind of get that feeling like, yeah, we did it. Um, you know, with all the fans that are there, it just feels really good. It impacts the team a lot because we get confidence when we're going into games like Kirkwood because um, we know that we can um, at least play a good game and make it close or even win against these hard teams. I definitely think we could win the Wickenheiser this year. Um, we have a strong enough team, and uh, yeah, we, we could possibly win this year. Overall, the future looks bright for Ledoux as they prepare for their next game versus Wentzville Timberland High School.